welcome everyone. Um, I've had a lot of positive feedback on our cooking videos, um, especially the ones involving eggs. So I'm going to bring you another one tonight. And we're going to do country style scrambled eggs. And what you're going to need for this recipe, you're going to need um, eight strips of bacon and you need to cut that up. It says diced, but I use kitchen shears like I always do, it makes it easier. You're going to want two cups of diced red potatoes. You're going to want um, a cup of cheddar cheese. You're going to want half a cup of green peppers, half a cup of onions, and then you're going to want eight large eggs. I'm going to use a dozen smalls because I have a lot of smalls left over. My large eggs sell really fast but I'm usually stuck with smalls, so that's fine by me. And we're just going to use a dozen smalls. And you're going to need salt and pepper. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your bacon and you're going to want to put it in your skillet. And you're going to want to cook this until all these little pieces are crispy. And then what you're going to do is take this like a slotted spoon or a slotted spatula and you're going to want to put it onto the plate with paper towels when it's done cooking but you want to keep the oil because we're going to use the oil to cook our potatoes and our green peppers and our onions so we'll be back in a minute after this is cooked and we'll go from there all right everyone so this has been cooking for about five minutes and i think it's pretty well done i don't want to burn it so i'm just going to take it and put it on the paper towels and like I said you want to keep the oil because we're going to fire potatoes in that and who doesn't love bacon everybody loves bacon unless you're a vegetarian Now I'm going to put the potatoes in. And I said to cook this for about 10 to 12 minutes. I cut them, I diced them in really small pieces. I don't know if it's going to take that long, but we'll see. And by the way, when you're cooking the bacon, you want to stir it so it doesn't burn. And I'll probably do the same with the potatoes. I'll probably stir it frequently. Alright guys, so these have been cooking for about 10 minutes. You want to use your best judgment. They're fairly soft because I wouldn't want hard potatoes in my scrambled eggs. So you just want to use your best judgment. I've been cooking, I cooked the bacon on medium. I'm cooking these on medium heat. And I've just been continually um, flipping them around. And now we'll add our half cup of green pepper. And our half cup of onion. And we're going to let this cook for about another four minutes. And while this is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get the eggs ready. I'm going to go ahead and scramble them and add the cheese and the milk. So we'll come over here. So like I said, I'm going to do 12. The recipe calls for eight large, but these are all smaller eggs, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a whole dozen because I think I did more than a half a cup of green peppers and more than half a cup of um, onions anyway. Look at these beautiful eggs, everyone. Now we have these um, for sale now at the farm. Even though it's winter time, my hens are laying really well. And I have a lot of new hens that are laying, so that's why I have lots of small ones right now. Um, but you can see how nice and dark orange they are. It's because my chickens are free ranged. They're out there foraging in the forest and they get all kinds of bugs and grubs and whatever else they can find. 
But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and scramble these. And then I'm going to add a quarter cup of milk. And it's one cup of cheese. And we'll be back in a second. Alright everyone, so I'm going to add the bacon to the scrambled eggs and cheese. Oh, made a little bit of a mess. And then uh, you want to add salt and pepper, however much you want. I like salt and pepper, so I'm going to add a liberal amount. But I'm sure the bacon's pretty salty, so maybe I won't add as much as usual. Alright, and we're going to come over here. I sprayed some more oil on the pan because it looks like it's um, getting a little burnt there. So I don't want the eggs sticking. They probably will somewhat. Just want to mix this around until the eggs are done. And we'll get back to you in a second. All right, everyone. So we cooked it for about five minutes. I guess it was about five minutes. And I might suggest to you guys, in between like putting the eggs in and cooking the peppers and bacon, before you put the eggs in, I would clean the pan. Because you could see it like it, I don't really mind it, but you might mind it. And you can also use a, use a um, cast iron pan instead if you'd rather do that. But I just, this is my favorite frying pan, so this is what I used. And Abby's going to taste test it and she's going to tell us what she thinks. So Abby's going to try it. Is it hot? <laughs> it's good. You like it? Alright guys, so I think it turned out really nice. But we won't know until tomorrow morning because we're going to have it for breakfast. But there you have it. Your country style scrambled eggs. And I want to thank you for watching. And please subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And um, Because I need a thousand subscribers before I ever get anywhere with YouTube. So I'd really appreciate if you subscribed, if you're enjoying our videos. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free to subscribe. Um, and it'll just let you know when our next video comes out. So thank you for watching. See y'all later.